every question or every topic there are few universal points what we talk about right so in this question those universal points when i talk about for the performance pyramid are given in this question so the universal points what we are talking are very important when it comes to the questions of performance pyramid so it is not limited to this question this points are applicable for all the questions which comes for from this topic correct now Hello everyone this is C Ajay Shah and you are watching Ajay's Costing Concept so here we are with the next topic for our case study digest series that is performance pyramid one of those important topics from performance evaluation uh, chapter where uh, various models have been provided how we will evaluate a non financial performance of a company like building block model like balance scorecard one of them is performance pyramid as you can see right so this performance pyramid there are two questions that will be dealing with case study digest series from this topic that is case scenarios uh, case scenario 1 and case scenario 12 but before we proceed and we start reading understanding the case scenarios let us first understand what the basic concept is as i said our whole uh, case study digest series topics are divided into three parts number one is that we shall first start with the revision of the topic then we shall start or uh, basics of the topic then we shall understand the questions what kind of questions they have asked what are the expectations what are the solutions they are expecting third we shall move on with the conclusion part of if such kind of uh, questions or from this topic questions come how will you deal in your exam so it is not only limited to the questions which we are solving right now in the conclusion at the end we shall also discuss that if the same kind of question comes in exam how or on this topic if there are questions in your exam how will you deal on this type of questions right or on this topic basically so performance pyramid as you can see there are two parts there is a pyramid structure over here one is a left part one is a right part if you see understand this diagram of a uh, pyramid there are it is divided into two parts see one is in the gray the left part is in the gray the right part is in the basically the right part is in the blue what is a gray part the gray part talks about externals that is uh, customers this whole pyramid is divided into two sectors as i said one is the out external factors one are the internal factors the internal factor the right one in the blue what you are watching uh, the internal factors so basically the first pyramid the four, there are four stages blocks at the down then three then two and then one and that is why it is in the shape of a pyramid so what are the four things the first thing that comes uh, from the viewpoint of internally what we should uh, look after or how we should uh, focus on should be waste normal the wastage should reduce as much as time it should be and second is process time right the process time should be reduced and the wastage should be reduced when you are comparing the financial analysis or performance analysis uh, as per the performance pyramid uh, what we talk about there are two things that the company's bottom structure of a pyramid talks about from the view point of companies that process time should be reduced and wastage should be reduced more and more process time you reduce the wastage you reduce the company is been benefited further because the reduction in wastage will lead to reduction in cost the reduction in process time will also reduce your cost as well as if your process time increases or if your process time is high what will happen is you will not be able to achieve or the deliver what it is required right that is the uh, past uh, prospect of client or you can say customers prospect what we are talking external prospect we are talking so external there are two things number one is quality number two is delivery if you reduce your waste right if you reduce your waste if you reduce your process time you will be able to give the best quality and with that on time delivery see every customers or any uh, services that you provide right the best aspect that you can give it to the customer satisfaction is the quality and the delivery that can be provided right like i'll give you example of uh, domino's pizza what it said in the earlier was like uh, you will be will be able to deliver pizza in 30 minutes otherwise it is free right so if you are not able to deliver in 30 minutes and if it is free that means there is a high customer satisfaction that if the delivery is not within the 30 minutes then i will be able to so uh, i will be able to get a free pizza 
so when you are ordering it becomes easy it becomes the company's uh, reputation or the company's performance increases like in 30 minutes we are able to receive these orders right so because of that the customer satisfaction goes high so considering that aspect itself right considering that aspect itself what we consider is there are two things which we need to understand the first base of the pyramid from the perspective of the company that is internal perspective is the process time and the wastage time right department the work center should focus more on the process time and the wastage reduce waste as much as you can reduce process time as much as you can if you do this you will be having a good quantity that is a quality delivery to the customers and the delivery time shall be reduced the moment you do this like you reduce your process time you reduce your wastage the next thing what happens in the second stage of the pyramid is your productivity will increase right the productivity will be higher the productivity will increase and you will be able to get flexibility flexibility from the viewpoint of the external sources and the internal sources the customers will also be more flexible because the more customer satisfaction is the more customers are able to get the quality they are expecting they will be getting more flexible towards your product company would be uh, the department or the employees or the company's business operating systems will become more and more flexible so because of that the flexibility is achieved as the flexibility is achieved and the productivity is achieved a customer satisfaction is achieved so from the perspective of external segment a customer satisfaction and the flexibility flexibility is common between the customers and the company because when it comes to the operations of the company right the productivity increases the employees flexibility or the products flexibility customers flexibility also increase why it is pyramid there are four stages at the bottom two for internal two for external there are three stages that is one is common flexibility for internal and external and the company's productivity will increase as well as company's customer uh, the in external factor company's satisfaction will increase once the company's uh, customer satisfaction increases the flexibility increases what happens is business units starts measuring the business unit starts measuring from the viewpoint of finances right so our financial targets our financial objectives our financial incomes profits revenues will increase our financial aspects will get better and better as well as the market because the more number of customer satisfaction you have the market is also achieved or the market share your market uh, customers number of customers in the total market would be higher and once that is higher the corporate vision can be achieved accordingly so basically this is the reason why this is known as performance pyramid what exactly we are talking in performance pyramid is the whole pyramid is divided into two segments the first segment talks about internal and the external there are uh, two that is four bricks at the down then three then two and then one and that is why it is known as performance pyramid it starts with external segments the external segment talks about uh, what are your uh, quality what kind of quality you are delivering and what kind of uh, delivery time that you are providing in front of that company should reduce their process time as well as their wastage once you reduce your process time and your wastage what will happen is you will have better productivity and better flexibility which comes to customers and the company and when there is a flexibility there is a chances or there is a high customer satisfaction achieved the moment you achieve a high customer satisfaction it goes into a good market that is your market share increases market revenue increases and here your financials get more and more stronger the financials incomes revenues profits market share market gain profits everything gets higher and that is what the corporate vision is so basically if you divide it there are two segments that you should focus internal and external now when will a question of performance pyramid will be asked how will you come to know that sir this is a question of performance pyramid right uh, when if there is a building block model question see uh, i'll explain it through here that is one question what we have uh, or question number 1 of case scenarios right what we are talking about so uh, the performance pyramid like building block model questions are mainly applicable to service segment organizations if you go through the questions right evaluate to the extent which suggested new measures can be see question number case scenario 1 says that evaluate right they are not asking about performance pyramid then sir how how come we will know that we should be looking after performance pyramid see the performance pyramid over here if i talk about into this segment right whenever there is a non financial measure questions asked right then there are five issues or five uh, segments that we have as per our chapter building block model we have 
right we have a uh, performance pyramid we have we have balance scorecard we have triple bottom line correct and we have performance precept like when it comes to service segment organizations we talk about building block model right when it comes to balancing all the aspects of business like customer satisfaction internals externals profits financial measures also we talk about balance scorecard right similarly triple bottom line talks about 3p as we have discussed right and then this performance pyramid so whenever in question if it is expected that they are asking more of about setup more of about process time reduction in wastage right uh, customers delivery uh, a question where the delivery time is given more importance a customer a question where a wastage reduction or uh, process time is given more importance in that kind of scenarios normally process uh, that performance pyramid questions can be asked and can be questioned so if i read the question now if you will read this question from the question itself you will come to know that why we are concentrating on performance pyramid over here see so first question what we are dealing today is of case scenario 1 right what about this case scenario 1 is talking about corner is an online business delivery uh, corner is talking about online pizza delivery business right now corner is one of the uh, qsr that created its own website system and app corners pizza baking points have a home delivery system due to popularity of e-commerce awareness among the customers online food order system came up and new opportunity for food business corner has grown rapidly due to boom in online platform and it is now operating around 1000 points so basically this is all about uh, the corner pizza delivery system so they have developed a, a delivery system where uh, they are focusing more on online delivery right they have achieved a good number of delivery system a home delivery system has been uh, developed there is more awareness 1000 points have been developed accordingly now corner's vision see when it comes to performance pyramid what we observe that on the first part of the performance pyramid there is corporate vision right at the second there are two things the whole whole pyramid is into divided into two segments on the second and uh, on the second and third right so there we have four parts right here we have three parts right and here we have two parts now the first over here when we talk about what we are talking about is corporate vision right in the second when we talk about we talk about finance and over here we talk about market now when if you read question carefully as i always say whenever there is a case study questions case scenario questions start reading from the what is required so if you read properly the requirement you will come to know to which suggested new measures that can be used to manage operational performance at corner operational performance they are not asking you about financial performance they are asking you managing operational performance right so basically this comes from performance evaluation chapter but which model is to be implemented that we shall either it is given in the question that implement this model or you are required or you are supposed to answer from the by reading your question so which model will be applicable over here so first thing over here important term when i am reading this question is a vision so they have a vision of what they have vision of increasing their shareholders right wealth by making timely delivery see timely delivery of quality pizza the word terminology used over is timely delivery of quality pizza right so that is what important over here is corner provides customized pizza as per customer's taste people choice to order pizza online for different reasons not wanting to ha or having time to cook do not have to wait in the queue for order so their next important is they don't want to wait in the queue they do not want to have waiting time they do not want to have uh, you know uh, giving a good time or uh, having more time to cook right during happy hours that is 4 pm to 7 pm baking points have a great deal on the both pizzas and beverages the customers call text or order pizzas online corners collection and delivery service use delivery motor uh, delivery motorcycles or scooters to transport pizza parcels the process consists of a customer choosing the restaurant of their choice scanning the menu items choosing an item and finally choosing the place of delivery payment is then managed by cash on delivery or with a credit card debit card etc when the delivery boy delivers the pizza to the customer's place of delivery so what we understand from here the important terminology is what we understand is company wants to have a vision of company's increase in wealth right so basically what we are talking about over here was finance perspective when it comes to the vision there are two things number one is customers that is market and second thing is wealth 
second what we are uh, reading important terminology over here is that company wants to have timely deliver of quality so that was the terminology what was used over here was here we were using the terminology was of quality right and here we were using the terminology of delivery see if you read this right so quality and delivery so basically this two perspect uh, delivery and quality are achieved and the vision so therefore if i consider there are more probable chances of coming of this question or asking for performance pyramid further i'll still read the issue that the company is facing and then we shall decide that which implementation should be easy or which implementation should be benefit for the company corners delivery service is slow now delivery service is slow basically it uses an automated reminder service like dial my calls to send updates to customers about the status of their order when it goes into the uh, when it's goes into the oven when it goes when it comes out when it is out for delivery and so on so basically a automated reminder service is been given right like when the order is been uh, in the oven when it comes out when it is out for delivery and so on but basic issue right now what the corner is facing is that the delivery service is slow further customers are willing to wait a little longer if they know that pizza is on its way slow delivery reduces the taste aroma and flavor of the pizzas delivered recently financial performance and market share see the terminology financial per market share of corner is deteriorated right so that is basically the corporate vision what the company is having so that has been deteriorated the ceo of corner believes that reduction in customer satisfaction and flexibility caused by the decline in operational performance see reduction in customer satisfaction and flexibility again the terminology what is used is as equal to of performance pyramid customer satisfaction and flexibility market and finance so if you understand why performance pyramid is applicable over here the reason behind that is that the terminology which is used in exam is as equal to as what the terminology for performance pyramid is further by the decline in operation performance may have led to recent deterioration it has been suggested that use of lynch cross see again lynch cross performance pyramid to resolve the deterioration so they have now anyway said in the question that implement performance pyramid but if they would have not then still we would have implemented performance pyramid so a learning before i start understanding the solution what is that whenever this kind of question comes which out of those five models will you implement over here is one of them is performance pyramid because it is talking about corporate vision it is talking about market share it is talking about customer satisfaction it is talking about the company's flexibility company's performance delivery time quality time all right so four new measures of operation has been suggested measure live tracking system gps driver tracker to choose the best and the shortest route for food delivery vehicles and to guide the drivers in real time basis number of successful deliveries per day so on this basis they will have a performance that what are the number of successful deliveries per day now see when it comes to this measure live tracking system right the gps system of driver like to choose the best ride even we have in the uh, maps that we are using these days like which route is much busy which route has heavy traffic which is the shortest route that is what we are using so this would be helpful but uh, will it be helpful to decide successful deliveries right will it be helpful to decide successful delivery or the duration for the delivery that is more important like on time delivery percentage of pizza delivered within 30 minutes of the booking time full fuel consumption average fuel consumption per kilometer traveled and improving the test that is it is that positive feedback so these are the four measure they are expecting on the basis of this four measures we are supposed to decide that what are the new measures that can be suggested on the basis of this four measures now the solution that they have provided understand the solution first whenever you writing down a solution in your examination not about this question any question that comes in your exams the first and foremost thing important about the solution is that you should be very clear about the first paragraph mentioning what is performance pyramid second why company wants to implement the performance pyramid and what are the benefits that company will be able to achieve is the third conclusion that you will be able to provide so the first paragraph talks about the performance pyramid covers not only not just only financial performance but also a broad uh, range of underlying process of business operation which drive financial performance right so it is not only financial performance it is non financial performance also 
बट द नॉन फाइनेंशियल परफॉर्मेंस आर इवेल्युएटेड और मेजर्ड इन सच अ वे दैट कंपनी विल बी बेनिफिटेड फाइनेंशियली आल्सो इट फैसिलिटेट्स टू सेट फाइनेंशियल एंड नॉन फाइनेंशियल परफॉर्मेंस नॉन फाइनेंशियल मेजर्स आर इंपॉर्टेंट इंडिकेटर्स व्हिच कैन हेल्प टू अटेन लॉन्ग टर्म फाइनेंशियल परफॉर्मेंस द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ द पिरामिड आर इंटरकनेक्टेड एंड ईच लेवल इन द पिरामिड बैक्स इनटू वन आफ्टर इट for example on time delivery of pizza will increase customer satisfaction the more it will increase the customer satisfaction the productivity will be achieved higher right the process time will reduce the delivery time will be achieved so everything in the pyramid is interconnected that we talk four blocks three blocks two blocks and one block correct and ultimately if the customer satisfaction is achieved what will happen is that company's financial performance will be greater and the market share will have a greater as the market share will be greater company's corporate vision will be achieved the left side of the pyramid as we have discussed there are two segments the left is external the right is internal that is blue and the gray in our diagram right so the less left uh, left side talks about more of uh, external factors so external effectiveness what we are talking about like customer satisfactions like customer on time delivery customer getting a quality product the more and more market what we have to achieve and the right side of the pyramid talks about internal efficiency very very important terminologies these two are external effectiveness internal efficiency now you may ask a question sir what is external effectiveness and internal efficiency isn't it external or the, forget the word external internal isn't it that effectiveness and efficiency are one and the same see let me explain you there is a minor difference in efficiency and effectiveness when it comes to efficiency or when it comes to effectiveness the terminology efficiency means what that the number of uh, the work provided or the company the, the labors working or the time given is becomes more and more efficient right the wastage reduced the delivery time is reduced right the process time is reduced that is where a word efficiency is focusing on so how i'll come to know when i am efficient that when i have been given a certain task and if i am able to achieve that certain task in that duration i am more and more efficient but when i am able to achieve that i become more and more effective right so when you are more effective when you are able to achieve that but every time you achieve that is that means you are effective but it doesn't mean that you are efficient right if i give you a homework <coughs> sorry if i give you a homework like i say that do this five sums at home within one hour right so in one hour if you are able to do it you are effective right you have done the homework you are done with it In, uh, in in the time duration, if it is given to you of one hour, within one hour you have done, you are efficient and effective. But if you are not able to do it in one hour, you are effective as you have done, but you are not efficient, right? So that is what the terminology is. So efficiency comes with flexibility. Efficiency comes with process time. Efficiency comes with the wastage that is provided. Right? Operation comes according to four elements, which are quality, delivery, cycle time, and wastage, as we have discussed. that is the bottom level of the performance pyramid of the uh, operational performance measure can help the organization to achieve vision of the organization reduction in pizza delivery time delivery of fresh all uh, delicious pizza and quality that can be helped now cycle time what is cycle time the process time that is reduced right so cycle time can be reduced by using live effective uh, tracking system as we said uh, that was the first suggestion right live tracking system is a key improve productivity life in these days if you observe we have zomato swiggy like they have also have live tracking the moment you place your orders right they will mention that your order has been cooking the order has been picked up by the uh, the uh, supplier or the order has been picked up by the uh, the traveler who is traveling for you or who is delivering to delivery boy then the delivery boy you can have live tracking of where he is around so you can accordingly place a call or you can message or text the delivery boy that the delivery is to be done at this place this is the location if he's lost somewhere in the location is not able to track then you may able to guide him or suggest him so that is what it will help the company to that is the best decision that a company has done to schedule the pizza delivery more effectively right so effectively you will be able to deliver the pizza as as uh, the live tracking system is been achieved but gps tr uh, tracker will allow real time monitoring of vehicle and offer detailed insights of fuel usage like driver's behavior engine idle time right uh, like what what basically what will be able to achieve so the moment the order is placed right you place a order a delivery boy gets a notification that order is placed at this store 
so if uh, whether the delivery boy is able to uh, reach the store before it gets cooked right or if it has been cooked the pizzas are ready but you, the delivery boy is not able to reach so there, where there is an idle time or engine idle time whether the tracking system normally say for example if a distance is of 5 kilometers it should take 15 minutes so whether he's been able to reach that 5 kilometers every 15 minutes is it not been done or it has been done so you will be able to understand the driver's behavior do you be able to understand the idle time what he has you will be able to understand the fuel usage what it has been doing right by by tracking the uh, route or by tracking the shortest distance possible you can understand the driver's behavior as well as uh, you can understand the fuel consumption that has been achieved so this will be efficiently useful money saving ideas or money saving areas can be achieved of the can be identified through this tracking system idle delivery vehicle can also be identified right which which vehicles are idle they are not able to get they are not able to get sufficient delivery or number of deliveries are not been able to achieve so this may lead to increase in number of deliveries per day and more deliveries translate into more business the number of deliveries is higher the customer satisfactions are higher orders are achieved higher so that will give you more and more business as well as it can assist about fuel consumption unnecessary uh, overtime cost can be reduced so why gps system is more and more uh, beneficial that is what we are talking about so gps system if you implement it will reduce your wastage first of all the process time can be tracked right the delivery can be done easily so the bottom level of my pyramid can be achieved because if i am able to deliver it in on time the taste the aroma of the pizza is maintained so very important for me is to track the fuel system or track the gps system so it can also reduce into fuel consumption because you will show the fastest route the busiest route or the route where it will take the uh, where there is high traffic so the driver can avoid that route due to that your uh, route time can be reduced your fuel can be consumption can be reduced the delivery can be on time right so overtime cost reduction in fuel consumption may lead to improvement in financial performance measuring average uh, fuel consumption per kilometer travel does not however really directly to activity for example so this is very important see measuring measuring average fuel consumption per kilometer traveled doesn't have a relate to direct activity for example to the number of pizza delivered so the no number of pizza delivered you cannot measure directly what you can measure directly is that per kilometer what he has traveled over the delivery may be different on the basis of the kilometers traveled right one delivery at two kilometer one delivery may be at five one may be at eight may be at ten four six so it depends on the number of pizzas that are delivered and the distance has been traveled average fuel consumption will vary definitely it will vary it will vary depending upon what areas you are or what uh, activities you relate to so average fuel consumption will vary basically on the will vary between type of vehicle used for delivery scooters motorcycle and conditions of road area delivery etc so it is not a good measure that what is your average consumption it is not a good measure to decide that what your average consumption is right it may depend that as i said over here when we were reading the question if you know what i said that average fuel consumption per kilometer travel cannot be decided that way it depends which areas he is traveling it depends on which uh, which kind of roads he is traveling it depends on what is the duration that he is traveling correct so that is what it is mentioned over here average fuel consumption per kilometer is not a good measure of waste uh, or any other aspect of operation performance of business organization to be useful more of to be uh, having more of managing operation performance the measure could be average fuel consumption per pizza delivered which is more appropriate to measure the waste right so why they are suggesting see the average fuel consumed per pizza delivered so normally on the basis of delivery you are deciding the pizza consumption so when i am when i am deciding on the pizza consumptions or the pizza delivery i come to know that what is the fuel consumed so when my uh, pizza delivery is of 4 km what is the average consumption of my fuel 5 kilometers 6 kilometers 7 kilometers the delivery basis i am deciding the fuel consumption so i will come to know area wise i will come to know segment wise i will come to know location wise i cannot decide on per kilometer on the basis of vehicle traveled it depends on what road what kind of location what the business traffic was or what the roads are more busy or not right so that is where the waste can be reduced by deciding average fuel consumed per pizza the second thing is the royal and the uh, satisfied customers now we come to the delivery part right if the delivery is reduced within 30 minutes the proportion of on-time delivery 
will have a key uh, customer satisfaction right so the loyal and satisfied customer is paramount to success of food delivery uh, business with the assistance in tracking system pizza delivery vehicle will respond to service calls quickly and reach their destination on time customers are likely to value on time pizza delivery very much and this is one of the main causes they will have choose pizza from corner like on time delivery is the best thing that you can have in a food industries right and the more and more you will be able to do on time delivery the customer satisfaction achieved is higher and it is easy moreover use of pizza delivery bags to keep pizza fresh and hot will improve the taste and the flavor of pizza the aroma of pizza can be maintained and that will lead to a good quality that we can be maintained and the quality segment can be achieved and this will lead to key customer driver satisfaction so all those four segments what we have been talking about improving the taste right to use fresh pizza bags is a good option that they have fuel consumption average fuel per travel it should not be it should be on the basis of number of deliveries that they have done. that is we have discussed that why it should be on the basis of number of deliveries on time delivery is one of the best thing that they have been doing for customer satisfaction and gps location live tracking system is the best service or best measure to decide about the uh, fuel consumption to decide about the number of deliveries to decide about the drivers behavior drivers how the driver is behaving how the successful deliveries are doing and that is where this performance pyramid will be useful right so uh, why performance pyramid is implemented why not other segments or why not other services because the in question itself they had said that lynch and cross performance pyramid should be considered and that is the reason why we have suggested that as well as if i understand uh, if this was not given in the question i have already explained that why we are still considering this so uh, the reason i said that corporate division market share financial path customer satisfaction flexibility whether terminologies quality delivery whether terminologies which were given in the question which were very important uh, to understand that which uh, measure or which model of non financial performance should be implemented right uh, with this we finish this question let us start with the next question fine so now let us start with the next question let us come to question number 12 of case scenario again a question of performance pyramid as we have discussed performance pyramid we start with a corporate strategy uh, that is corporate division then we have market share and the finance profitabilities there we have flexibility customer satisfaction and uh, as we go to the uh, fourth area uh, reduction in waste setup time what you call a process time what you called and customers we have more and more we would like to have a better services with our external uh, factors or external efficient uh, effectiveness what we call it of so question number 12 is of digital computers what we are talking with so digital computers is a manufacturer and wholesale dealer of electronic goods in the initial uh, before i read further see if you read the question what they have given is list out the performance measurement within digital could be improved access how the implementation of performance pyramid the word over here is performance pyramid so basically uh, in the question itself it is given that you have to focus on performance pyramid so now when we read the question we should be very much clear with our diagram of performance pyramid and accordingly we shall suggest now uh, on the basis of that while reading the question what are the points or what are the uh, takings that we can take or accordingly we can work out can also be understood so the company was performing excellent and was improving year after year however from past 3 years the performance of the company is towards decreasing trend in a report the sales manager stated that sales has been disappointing and company sale has gone down drastically however the sales manager pointed out that some orders have been lost because the production department has been unable or unwilling to adopt product specification requirement of the customer so now this point product specification required of the customer talks about flexibility right so lack of flexibility lack of adoption lack of change in the uh, adoptions or change in the strategies or change in the customers demand has led to this also one of the company's largest customers has returned goods which is claimed did not meet its requirement so basically this is the next thing customer requirements are not met so customer satisfaction is not achieved this is another thing which it is an issue see when you reading this question you should have a clear vision that what exactly they have been asking us right so it comes to the measures of talking about the measures of performance pyramid we should have a clear idea while reading the question that what exactly they are 
or what we want to take out from this question and we want to answer next and the customer also subsequently not placed any further orders with digital computers in addition a delay in the completion of another large order a delay in completion of another large order meant that some revenue originally budgeted for this year would not be on until next year so basically this is loss of process time right this is also important terminology that we need to use understand these are the important terminologies that will be required when you are answering the question so as we said process time waste wastage of uh, uh, products or wastage of resources you, your non effective utilization of resources no and then uh, your customer satisfaction is not achieved you are not able you are not flexible your productivity is not been achieved so that is what it is all about the employees and the managers are not motivated to perform their best nor the cycle time waste of production department monitored again the word cycle time and waste is of production is monitored right summary of annual performance figure see uh, actual current year and actual previous year that that is what we are talking about the ceo believed that company's performance measure needed to link operations to strategic goals more closely so this is one of those important measurement that we should have like the first thing what we see in our performance pyramid is that this is the first then we have second then we have third right so this is what it is divided into this is the first area or segment what i am talking of right this the first area what we look after this is corporate vision right so when we talk about corporate vision right everything or operations all your strategy should be linked with your corporate corporate vision right the corporate goals what the companies had and they needed to be focused on non financial as well as financial measures financial measures can be achieved if you measure your if you achieve your non financial measures right so if as we said that why non financial measures are also important the reason behind that is that if you are able to achieve a non financial measure like reduction in process time customer satisfaction flexibility reduction in waste right more and more quality delivery is given a proper quality has been delivered Uh, with that quality what you deliver you should also have a, a time to time delivery what a customer is required so if you follow that strategy or if you follow that process or if you follow that sequence the best thing that happens is that in that case or in that scenarios what would happen that your customers market share or your customer satisfaction would increase and that would lead you to extra profitability or achievement in the productivity so it is not that if you are uh, financials measures are achieved that means your objectives are achieved right you may have see when it compare when we compare to current year sales uh, it has increased from the past year if you observe your current year sales has increased from the past year though it is less than the budgeted but it has increased right accordingly your cost of sales has also increased in the same proportion your gross profit has remained same what it was so basically uh, the profit overall if you see has gone up from the last year current year current year profit is actual higher than the last year but that doesn't mean that you are doing better right that doesn't mean that all your objectives are achieved the main objective is not only the financial measures but also non financial measures that we should have so your non financial your strategic goal should be well aligned with your uh, company strategy or companies uh, ceos what they are talking about right they should also focus on non financials like as we read uh, about the financial measure what we have considering right now right in the question the financial measure when we say that our actual performance of current year or profit is higher than the last year or previous year then we are doing better it is not so because see the customer satisfaction is not achieved the goods were written in a large quantity proper timely delivery quality delivery was not been able to done the process time took so long that you were not able to achieve or you were not able to deliver what it was expecting and that is the reason why we have lost a market share and that is where the company's ceo believes that what additional precautionary what additional cares what additional measures that should be taken the ceo suggested that digital computer should use structure for setting target based on the concept of performance pyramid and should not focus only on financial performance list how uh, how the system of performance measurement within digital computers could be improved now see there are few as we have said that every question or every topic there are few universal points what we talk about right so in this question those universal points when i talk about for the performance pyramid are given in this question so the universal points what we are talking are very important when it comes to the questions of performance pyramid 
so it is not limited to this question this points are applicable for all the questions which comes for from this topic correct now the first thing see digit as as you go through the answer what do you understand that whatever is given in the question right this this chart is talking all about annual performance or annual figures of finance like they have not given us any data or any relevant data for the non financial measures non financial performance is how they are evaluating what they are doing so that is not been provided so they are asking us that what are the system that performance within computer could be improved so the first thing that need to be understand is that by reading the question what i come to know that your as your ceo has said that your linking of operations is not done properly linking of operations becomes very very important right your strategic goals should more be linked with your non performance measurements secondly internal efficiency should be improved right these are the key points or universal points when it comes to performance pyramid external effectiveness should be improved customer satisfaction should be achieved right you should not merely focus on financials you should de link the financial measures you should also focus on non financial measures right if you read this if you read this uh, universal points if i read you will have the same understanding what we are talking about it is your your assessment should not only be on the basis of your performance of financials but also on the basis of non finance though it is difficult to implement still it should be implemented right proper communication uh, should be done poor communication or information sharing department between them should not be allowed so what are the key points that we have number 1 is be aligned with strat or corporate strategy see that is what we discussed be aligned with be aligned with corporate strategy that is very important which need to be linked by day to day operation that is the first point what even ceo has suggested focus on customer satisfaction as i said customer satisfaction internal and external uh, measures like internal waste time reduction in cycle time uh, reduction in cycle time reduction in waste time or process time what you say external factors like company should have uh, measures like customers requirement should be achieved customers uh, delivery of quality should be achieved right so customer satisfaction internal external efficiency and effectiveness third is corporate strategy all should be aligned together fourth is explicit uh, make explicit trade off between different dimensions of performance that is in order to increase performance on non financial measure dimension has to be equal performance on financial measure it is not that you are only focusing on financial measures you should also focus on non financial performance measures consider all important factors all important aspects or all important factors which are required to measure the performance if to check whether it is difficult or not to whether uh, verify that if whether the objectives can be achieved or not and the last one is it appears that digital companies having poor communication information sharing between the departments as they are not integrated the integrated communication system should be developed so these are the six points key pointers that which need to be improved now not only about digital computers not only about this question these are the key points universal points which are important when it comes to this question or this concept of performance pyramid so performance pyramid whenever there is a question there are few important terms that you need to understand customer satisfaction internal external effectiveness and efficiency right thirdly you should also be aware or you should also be knowing of a uh, company's process time uh, setup uh, delay time what we call it as or process time what we call it as company's waste what you call it as right as well as further we have uh, the customer flexibility about the company to achieve or to do the production or to achieve customer satisfaction so these are the important terminologies corporate vision corporate goals that you should have is a very important thing to follow secondly they are asking is how the implementation of performance pyramid might help so as we said how the implementation might help is that they should have been focused the first if you understand is establishing corporate level objective so now if i start with the pyramid if i start with the pyramid how we shall be implementing so the first thing that you should have is the corporate vision this should be achieved the first area or the first bracket of performance pyramid what you are talking of right the second performance pyramid bracket if i talk about is a strategic business unit should have marketing targets as it says over here as this is of this talks about market market share and this talks about financial targets right so that is the second area 
where financial targets and marketing targets should be achieved. When I talk about the third segment or the third uh, area of focus in this channel, if I talk about this third area, this is all about customer satisfaction, right? This is all about flexibility. This is all about productivity, right? When I talk about the next segment, right? This segment talks about. This is all about talking of your. These are all about external factors. This is all about your internal factors, right? external factors when it comes to it is customers delivery or it is about quality when it comes to process time and over here when it comes to internal segment after process time what we can consider is waste right so this is these are the terminologies we should use when you are answering now see if you focus before i read the solution why i am uh, focusing on this or what i am trying to say is see the terminology over here is customer satisfaction quality delivery internal efficiency see productivity waste cycle time or process time setting targets that is the next uh, thing that you have to answer so these are the key terminologies when you are answering question number 2 or when you are answering performance pyramid question so the first is establishing corporate level objectives what are the corporate level objectives that you should have right so your objective should be linked with your strategic goals your day to day operations that is what they are talking about so establishing performance pyramid structure should begin with the overall objective and corporate vision in digital computer they may have objective of increasing profit by a fixed percentage every year and increasing market share the overall objective should then be used to establish targets of the next level down in the performance hierarchy because merely just putting targets of financials merely just making sure that your sales increases every year merely just making sure that your profits are achieved it is not limited to that you should also focus on you should also focus on that your day to day strategic operations when it comes to day to day strategic operations they are also achieved with the next level of performance hierarchy right further uh, strategic business unit objectives you should have financial targets as well as marketing targets so internal efficiency external effectiveness should be achieved as the business strategy level performance target should then be created for both internal efficiency which includes financial targets and external effectiveness which includes marketing targets the financial and marketing targets should be consistent with each other right so the more and more financial targets you have the same marketing targets should also be having a consistency with each other next external effectiveness that is customer satisfaction external effectiveness talks about this uh, level customer satisfaction quality delivery uh, quality given to the customers and time to time delivery to be provided so in this before this what we saw the question of pizza right a delivery time was very important over there the aroma the flavor of pizza should be maintained so that was what of talk, talking about the quality maintenance of the product as a business strategy level performance target should then be created for both internal efficiency that is what read external effectiveness is the marketing success is associated with the achievement of customer satisfaction right the success will need to need an efficient business operating uh, system for all aspects of cycle from product design to after sale service to customers customer satisfaction linked with improved quality as well as delivery of goods provided as per customers specification internal efficiency the financial success is linked to the achievement of high productivity right so your productivity should high so that should be how we will achieve the high productivity reduction in cycle time reduction in waste as try as well as as much as decreased level in waste and try to have reduction in your cycle time so this can be gained through reduced cycle time and decreased level of waste quantitative measures are the factors like average total cycle time from customer inquiry to delivery and waste is from idle machine capacity next is setting targets target should be identified for productivity customer satisfaction right so you want to achieve customer satisfaction you want to achieve reduction in uh, re cycle time or reduction in waste but how can be that be done so for that you should have been set targets so target should be identified for productivity customer satisfaction and flexibility so this is what the th 